welcome back to my channel Lady T. My name is Natalie and today I'm taking you to another trip of the top 10 bookstore list that I found a couple of years ago when I was a lot younger. And today I finally found the two stores and I was able to visit them in Amsterdam, the ones that I couldn't find uh, in my video last time. Uh, we are starting here in the American Book Center which is an amazing bookstore. I'm so happy that I found it and it was so close to Waterstones. I can't believe that I didn't find it the first time around. But anyway, I finally did. Um, I went on this trip together with one of my friends, Daphne, or as she would pronounce it in English, Daphne. But we are, as she is Dutch, so we're calling her Daphne. Daphne. Almost messed it up there. Uh, but what I really loved about this bookstore is that there were literally literally almost literally books everywhere everywhere you turned everywhere you looked there were books they were cramped in corners they were they were everywhere and that is what I love about a bookstore you could really feel the love for books and the written world in this bookstore and that is what got me really excited um, there were some books like for example this shelf over here it is displayed with so much love like some you can't uh, see the bindings of them all, or the uh, side thingies. Um, but sometimes they're displayed in a way so that you can see the front cover, which really helps me at least, because sometimes, I've talked about this before, I judge books by its covers. So, um, yeah, that really helps me as a buyer to really, to look at books, the books that maybe I would leave behind if uh, they weren't facing me with their front I'm not sure where I'm going with this but the last two pictures that we saw here um, those book days where you only have a description of the book is what I love I'm a sucker for that but they also had uh, a shelf or two with second-hand books and that is what I love that you don't just throw books away but that as a bookstore you acknowledge that books have existed before and maybe other people didn't want their old books anymore and that you instead of throwing them away you give them another shot at life with someone who still wants to read that book so yeah that is very exciting to me i'm very happy that uh, we were able to visit this bookstore it wasn't the best day ever weather wise i personally don't really mind when it rains and it didn't rain for that long when we went there uh, because we got there and will my cat eat my eyeballs? Yes, they will. I have a cat, they will eat your eyeballs. At least not when you're awake, so there's that. Um, but what was I saying? Um, oh yeah, the weather. We always like to complain about the weather, but we weren't soaked. It was just... There was a little bit of rain, so I don't mind that, but Daphne doesn't really like it when the weather isn't that great but we managed to have a lot of fun and yeah some books where I took photos of the covers are books that I want to get I didn't have a lot of money on me uh, this time around so sometimes I like to take pictures of the covers there my voice is going um, I like to take photos of the covers so that I know uh, that I remember them for later on and then we went to the second bookstore that is on the top 10 list, the Ateneum Bookhandel, or the Ateneum Bookstore. Um, I wasn't that excited about this bookstore and Daphne had the same feeling. Um, there, what I usually love is if it is a bit Hobbit-like and there are secret rooms everywhere and you kind of have to discover uh, a store. And there were most definitely a lot of separate rooms here. You had to take a lot of stairs, not long stairs like this, three or four steps that would lead you to other rooms that, and normally I really like that when there are hidden things and hidden rooms and that you kind of have to discover your way around. But this time it kind of felt chaotic and like they just weren't really sure what to do with the place or something. We both kind of felt like it was unorganized and a bit too much. Yeah, we didn't really like, and I personally, that is maybe a stupid thing to say, but I didn't really like the colors here. 
and it just felt a little cold and really like a store and of course every bookstore is a store as well but uh, like in the other one you could feel the love for books there were books from the bottom of the floor to all the way up to the ceiling and this just fe felt so cold and so unpersonal there were a lot of books here as you can see um, in the videos and in the pictures but I don't know it just kind of felt like they were just shoved into the shelves and it didn't really matter yeah I don't really know how to explain it better that is my yellow quote by the way um, I don't really know how to explain it better than that um, it felt like they were more targeted towards selling the books and like the whole money aspect of it and what I really liked about the American Books Center was that they appear to be more focused on the love of books themselves so yeah that is what I personally like and then we went out because we had to get back to the train station um, uh, and while we were walking back sometimes you just find these things that you weren't looking for and th those are the little things in life that I really like like for example these bubbles there was a man with a rope and two sticks creating these bubbles and a lot of people were just standing still enjoying it for what it was Daphne tried to burst them all <laughs> um, but that is one of the things that I really like about life that sometimes we are so caught up in our own lives and or smartphones for example that sometimes we forget to just look around and enjoy these little things in life because they are just bubbles but look at how much fun the children are having just playing with bubbles like a lot of people a lot of parents a lot of people I know who are parents are just complaining that their kids are always uh, sitting behind their iPad or their smartphone um, but at the same time when those parents don't want to deal with the children they give them their smartphone and their iPad but okay um, but if you do these little things like just creating bubbles then children will have so much fun and enjoy themselves and they will just learn to appreciate the little things in life like for example these pigeons uh, they were feeding them they were selling feed for the pigeons and I was reminded of Feed the Birds by Mary Poppins and I absolutely loved it but we have arrived at the end of the video thank you for watching I know it's a short video but I will see you in the next video goodbye